economic situation in Venezuela as we speak is probably the worst any society has ever seen outside of war or state collapse. Uh, GDP has fallen by over 50% since 2013. Inflation last year was 1.7 million percent. Uh, the minimum wage doesn't buy 700 calories a day, doesn't buy two eggs a day. Uh, the country is a little bit like a taxi driver <clears throat> that has a car has the willingness to work, but doesn't have gasoline and doesn't have money. So it cannot buy the gasoline, and as a consequence, it's not using its labor, its willingness to work, and it's not using the car, because there's missing gasoline. So we need to make sure that we kick off the process by putting gasoline in the car. And once the gasoline is in the car, well then, the gentleman can drive, he can use his labor, he can use his car, earn a living, and pay for the gasoline. But we need to kickstart that process, and that will require a significant injection of foreign exchange, which will have to come from official sources in a program, in a significant, in a large program led by the International Monetary Fund, something that they call extraordinary access. Those dollars are going to allow the private sector to import more so that we can produce more and have more goods available, more food, more medicines, more spare parts, more production more seeds, more fertilizers, so that the next, the next crop, which people plant in Venezuela in the month of April, right, so that the next crop can be there, so that by September we have more corn, we have more rice, we have, uh, we have more food on the table. I see enormous, enormous concern and willingness to help everywhere. The IMF is not a separate body, it's owned by the countries of the world. Uh, the staff of the IMF is fully on board, they have done their homework. Uh, but, you know, the U.S., Canada, uh, Brazil, Argentina, Chile, Colombia, Peru, Ecuador, the U.K., today the EU are meeting and deciding what their common position is. My expectation is that they will support President Guaido. And that's going to facilitate the transition that I hope will be easy and smooth so that we can start rebuilding the country. Mm -hmm.